YouTube. Um, it's been over a year since I made my last video, which was probably Hercules with his new two-story pen and, you know, the rest in peace and for the turtle, but I'm pretty sure I'll be back making some new videos. Um, I have lots of updates and upgrades and a surprise that I will show you later in the video. I'll save the best for last. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, Raphael, Jennifer, and, you know, just the little, this all my ranch sliders for now. Alright, let's go. Alright, um, this is a tank for Raphael, Jennifer, and also Yoshi and Squirtle. There's Yoshi and Squirtle. I know the tank is very dirty. Um, I'm, I'm just keeping them there until it's done raining and snowing, because over here in Texas right now, it's been snowing a lot, which is really odd, but, yeah, so, but they can't handle it. And then, um, there's, there's Raphael and Jennifer. I got a UVB strip on this desk right now, and then I took them outside where it's kind of warm, and that's when they bask outside. Um, I believe in a week I'll be putting them back outside, but... Jennifer's actually grown a bit, I see, and Raphael hasn't really, but these two over here, they've grown a lot to me. And, um, yeah, still same age and whatnot, but now it's going to go ahead and move on to my new tank with my Razorback and my Yellow Bear Slider. What you are about to look at is my new tank, or my Razorback Musk. And my yellow belly slider. Big tank. Yes, I know. See, there's a funny story behind this tank. Um, I went to church one day and I prayed for a tank. I know it sounds kind of odd. And, well, you know, I saw one on the street. Because uh, someone was just, like, about to throw away. But there was no cracks. It came with the hood. Um, a light. And this here over there. And this overhead one. The tank's very dirty because I've had them for eight months maybe but like you know I've been cleaning it since then but uh, it got dirty well over here my little musk oh he's really calm this time he got him pretty big and uh Skinner the yellow bellies are under somewhere oh he's back there can't see him at all actually the tank by itself with no cracks or anything I think it was for an iguana because it has some like a background with a lot of logs and natural plants and stuff like that, so maybe a chameleon and stuff, but I don't know, but I wouldn't keep a chameleon in here. But, um, I still got that same filter. Maybe if I can... I don't know. Doubt it. Ugh. But, uh, then they still got their same dock, and that light works so well, and they seem to like this a lot. This is actually gonna... We're gonna get rid of Skinner back there, because it's not my title, but my brother wants to get rid of it. But, so this tank's gonna be all mud and must turtle but uh he's selling it so if any of y'all are interested pm me and um we'll sell we'll see what we can do but um and also down here is the hamster look at him so cute um that's my brother's as well but also i haven't made a video of him i don't think at all actually but we've had the hamster for a while and um so there's a lot of updates and upgrades so far also with my hair because i cut it and you know, full hopped it up and whatnot. But now we're gonna move on to wait hold up. Better view. Look at him. Just looking at us hungry. Can't really see him that well. But uh, now we're gonna move on to the surprise. Um but I'm just gonna give you a hint. I went to the reptile expo today. And now let's see what it is. And now here, you know, it's Hercules enclosure. You know, I got the UVB and the new uh, day or uh, well, nighttime heat lamp because it gets pretty cold. And then I also have a cuddle bowl for him. There's a thermometer and like his calcium loads over there. But uh, but guess what I picked up? Another one. Another little Slokatsa. He, he's, when we first got Hercules, he was a little bit smaller than him, but he's not pyramiding, so we're going to try keeping it like that, but 
Oh, he's pretty angry that I woke him up. Let's see. He's a complete size different with Hercules. And, uh, I woke him up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. He like he likes staying under this because he likes to stay warm and whatnot. But, um, yeah. There's our food, the water bowl. And, um, we're gonna be taking him out of this two-story pen because I saw the him fall over today. Like, he's, he likes to climb, but... I don't want to take the risk, really. And also, you can't have a cool side and a warm side with this kind of tank. Um, and I did look at it, and um, Hercules is pyramiding. But just a little bit, but I can... Like, pyramiding can't be reversed, but it can be stopped. But it just happened, so I have a chance of re us reversing it back to being smoother. But, um, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna try helping him. Um, if you give me... I'm gonna transition it over to where I'm holding Hercules. So hold up. You can see that there's a total size difference. Um, he's all dark and he's all light. He's a lot tinier and he's bigger. We don't have a name for him or her, but we're wanting it to be a her. You know, for her too easy. Yeah, you know. Um, but we like naming our pets mostly like Greek mythology. So if you have any Greek mythology kind of names, that would really be appreciated. And just post them, you know, you know, under. Also, if you want to have any more details, you know, just kind of to the description over there, I believe, or there, there, no, I think it's over there, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll post a description saying, like, how we got him, and the camera, and everything that's really happening, but, uh, as you can see, look, yeah, Hercules is pyramiding just a little bit, but I can stop that, and him, he's just all natural smooth, and Hercules has been sick for a while, because he's been motionless, and, you know, been lazy, but, um, we've been giving him care with, I know he folds and stuff, and that new pet's really starting to help him because he's starting to move. Yeah, I actually saw him climb up this again, and but I wasn't here, but this one right here, she climbed up that too. So, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm turning this off, but, um, the night time, here, let me turn on, night light, uh, very nice here, here's the box that came in. This black night, so, could my uh, house gets really cold at night, so, um, they need to stay warm. And, um, basically, Hercules is just kind of showing her around the place, because, and they already been gnawing on the little thing. You can't really see it on this camera, but they've been kind of gnawing on it, and they seem to like it. And, uh, I need to change the substrate out, because it's pretty dirty now, and the roof feces and not, so, um... Yep, that's basically kind of it. I was post some pictures of the expo because this Arlington Rep Telescope was n wasn't nearly as big as the one I went to last year when I got hurt. It's really, it was really really small. There was a couple of snakes, no chameleons, this, and there was only three slow cops and like two red foots. <laughs> see now you can see the size difference. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let them sleep, because it's already night time, and, yep. See, but Hercules was never moving like that until we got him to heat bulb, and he was, he's been starting to eat. <coughs> and, um, so, um, I hope you have liked this update. I'll start making more videos, I believe. At least I'm hoping. I'm gonna go ahead and let her sleep. But please, if you have any names for her, please see this one. Hercules. No name. Raphael, Jennifer, Yoshi Squirtle, Kirby, and Skinner back there. Thanks for watching, and deuces.